Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I am going on a date night with my husband tonight for the first time in two months and I'm super excited so I figured why not just film a get ready with me um, date night. So, okay. So the only thing I have on my face right now is the Josie Marin, I don't even know if that's how you say it, whipped argan face butter, I think is what it was called. So I just used that as my moisturizer and then First, I'm going to be going in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I absolutely love this. It gives such a pretty glow to the skin. I even use it if I'm not wearing makeup. It just gives a really nice glow to the skin. Okay, next I am going in, I'm going to mix the Josie Marin Vibrant Z Foundation in Cosmic with the uh, L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation in Nude Beige, it's W3, and then I'm going to mix just a drop of the Cover FX um, Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight. And I'm just going to mix that all together on the back of my hand and go in and just put it on my face. I got a little bit too much unless I decide I need more. Now I'm taking the Morphe M439 brush. Please ignore my dirty brushes. I actually did not plan to do this for my video today. I was going to do a drugstore haul and I went to Springfield um, yesterday and went to Ulta and Target and I tried I got a lot of stuff, but there wasn't near as much as I wanted to get. Target was out of stock of a lot of stuff. Um, Ulta didn't have some of the things I had, or Ulta didn't have some of the things I needed. So I made an online order from Target. And that should all be here, I believe, next Friday. So I'm going to be filming um, an Ulta Target haul as well as a drugstore slash affordable makeup look. Here's the one of the stuff I'm using right now is a very is a very affordable. So this is what like this is my hobby though. So I you know other people have things they like to spend their money on and I like to spend my leisure money on makeup. Okay. Okay now I am taking the sharp Short, <laughs> tart, shape tape concealer in the color light sand, and I am going to just put it under my eyes, and then I'm taking my beauty blender to blend that out. A lot of people, I mean, I go down my nose and do my forehead and chin too, but I feel like if I don't take the time in between to blend what I just did, sometimes it like dries and it doesn't blend near as well as it could if I would just take the time to blend in between. So, now I'm doing a strip down my nose and a little bit on my forehead. And I just do like a little bit on my chin. Then I'm going to blend that out as well. And what I what I do with my beauty blender, like I pounce it into the skin. I don't wipe it because then it. I feel like when you like pounce it, it actually presses into the skin where it's supposed, like where you put it rather than wiping it other places where you don't want it to be. Okay. Next, I'm kind of scared to do this. 
I've done the, I've tried this once, I think, but I haven't used it very much. I'm going to, I don't know which color I'm going to use, but I'm going to go in with the KKW contour stick. I feel like, I don't know, last time I used it, it was okay. I think I'm going to go on with the darker shade. That's all I'm doing. If this doesn't look good, I'm just gonna roll with it because I'm hungry and I don't, I just don't wanna fix it, honestly. We're just gonna go out to eat and then come home and probably we might run a Red Box movie. I don't really know for sure yet. So I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm just blending this and I'm kind of pushing it into the hairline. I don't wanna go too far down my forehead with it. And I just don't know about it. I mean, I'm going to use my blend, beauty blender just over the top so it's really blended well. Okay, I'm going to go over it with the beauty blender push it into the skin. Yeah, I'm definitely, after I blend this side, I'm going to go in with the, um, like, the highlighter shade, like, not the shimmery one, but the matte one of the contour kit, and then kind of clean this, um, clean this up a little bit. So we've been watching Riverdale and obviously the first season because the second season hasn't came out and we just started it on Netflix um, probably a week ago and I'm really liking it so far. I, I just like the murder mystery type things. So I'm just like, I almost can't contain myself though. One of my friends at work told me about it and she told me it was really good. So I decided to start watching it on Netflix and I just kind of like I'm the type that I just kind of want to know what happens like I mean I want to watch it too so it's like one of those things where I want to know but I don't want to know because I don't want to run it <laughs> does anyone else have that issue please tell me it's not just me okay so what I did I, sorry I didn't explain myself in that I just took the lighter shade and kind of cleaned up the contour and now I'm just pressing, you know, blending that out. Okay, now I am taking the Lancome Absolute Powder. I mentioned in one of my previous videos that this is my absolute favorite powder ever. Like, I'm, I'm honestly never going to go without it. I know it's ridiculously expensive, but I don't care. I should care because it's that good. And I'm just taking the Morphe E41 and going over my whole face with this powder. Okay, now I am going in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and the Kat Von, Kat Von D double-sided brush. I don't actually know what it's called. I think it's a contour and highlighting brush that you can use with the kit. But I am just going over the contour shade or the contour cream with this Physician Formula Bronzer pretty lightly, like I'm not going to go crazy with it. Okay, this is bothering me. I have a pimple right here. I know I've already put powder on, but I've done this a million times and it works out fine. I'm just going to dab a little bit of concealer right there. Take my beauty blender and 
just press that concealer into the skin over that pimple. So much better. And then this still has some powder on it, so I'm just going to set that. What was I doing? I was too worried about that pimple. Now I am taking the Morphe E4 brush and going in with Makeup Geek blush in the shade Romance. I actually haven't used this blush in a while, but I remember really liking it when I used it before. I used to use it all the time, like literally. Yep, I still like it. Now I'm just doing the other side. I usually don't go too crazy with blush. Okay. Now I am going to do my eyes. I'm actually going to use my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette that I did the video on. Um, I actually haven't used it. The only time I've used it was during that video. So I'm pretty excited to use it again. I usually don't wear I make up during the week to work just because it takes a lot of time and I don't have time for that. I drive an hour to work and then obviously an hour home. So I'm just, I leave early and I work four tens and that's just not something that I want to do that early in the morning. So I'm going, and I'm sorry about my dirty makeup brushes. Didn't have time to wash them. Did I already say that? I probably did. Okay, I'm taking the Morphe M441 brush and I am going, I'm going to go into the shade Silk Cream and put that in my crease as the transition shade. I'm just gonna put a little more and I go pretty high with this in the crease with my transition shades and then the darker the colors, the lower into the crease I go. I really want to do like a crazy look with this palette sometime, but tonight's not the night because like I said, I'm hungry. My family says I'm always hungry. My dad was like, all I ever hear you say is I'm starving. And I'm like, basically, basically I am. So next I'm going into the color M-F-E-O and I'm just going over the top of that first transition shade. The more transition shades you, well just the more shadows in general that you use, the easier everything is going to blend and you want to blend in. Trust me. Patchiness on an eye look is not cute. I'm trying to eat healthy as I'm drinking a Coke out of a, from McDonald's. So anyway, I guess I can talk about how I started, why I wanted to start a YouTube channel. So how am I supposed to do that and tell you what I'm doing at the same time? That's the real question. I am going in with the color butter now. And I'm going to put that a little lower in the crease. So basically, I got into makeup a couple of years ago. And I started watching Jaclyn Hill and Casey Holmes and Kathleen Lights. And um, first, I was just watching them for probably like four months or so. And then I was like, I really wanted to start my own channel. So I um, had a job that I really didn't like for a variety of reasons and so I decided to quit my job and go back to school full-time and it would have been a perfect time to start but I just kept making excuses I was like okay I'll start it when I get my braces off because I just didn't want to have braces sticking out on camera and then when I got them off which was literally last November, like the beginning of last November, I was like, well, I'll do it when I lose some weight. 
We all know how that's going. So, then, I don't know what made me start it now. Like, I have a job I like, and everything's going good, and I graduated in May. So, I, would, I don't know. I just, I think I just wanted a hobby. So, um, other than just buying the makeup, I was like, I can buy it and show people what I do. And that's basically how I got started. So, now I am going to... Um, first blend more. Yep. Taking the Sephora Pro Crease brush and I'm just going to keep blending that. I'm going to go in with the color Little Lady. And I'm going to put it, I don't even know what this brush is. It's just a Sephora double blended brush. And I'm using this side of it. And I'm going in with the color little lady which I already said and then I'm uh, I'm gonna squirt some max fix max why can't I talk max fix plus on it and then go in with a little more and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of the eye so I'm just gonna keep that on the outer corner and build it up. Okay, now I'm just going to wipe that part of the brush off and I'm going to go in with Faint. And I'm going to use just the same brush and MAC Fix Plus. Now I'm going to go in the inner corner. I love this palette so much. <laughs> like I serious, it's so, so, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to go back, wipe that off a little bit, and go back into this other color, and just go over some of it that I wiped away. I really, I can't even believe that they, there's 35 shadows for $38, because, and like, just how good of a formula it is and how uh, blendable the shadows are like I don't even know how they did it for that price and how they're making money but obviously they are okay I think I'm gonna just darken my crease just a little bit and I'm going to go in with the shade buns and I'm using the Morphe M321 brush. And I'm just gonna darken up my crease just a little bit. I'm not doing anything crazy. Okay, now I am taking the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I'm just putting a thin line. Now I am going in with the same Morphe E or no M321 brush and I'm going into the shade chip and I'm just putting just blending that on my lower lash line
now that that is done, I am going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. Oh, I didn't even tell you what I was using. I'm sorry. The Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony. Fun fact about me, I also have a scar on my eyebrow right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it takes some extra work to fill that in. I, when I was six or seven, me and one of my friends were running through my parents' house, and I fell, and when I got up, like I started running again, and I ran right into the corner of a wall. And my mom said, well... I ran around the house screaming and crying, and I was kind of melodramatic. I still kind of am, but um, I was bleeding everywhere. And my mom, like, she still tells the story to this day, and she's like, next time you bleed everywhere, this is what she told, said she told me when I was six, next time you bleed everywhere, Ash, can you please just, like, stay in one spot? So now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going to go back in with this just double-sided Sephora brush. I don't even know what it's called and then go in the shade and light and pop that on my brow bone. Now I'm going to take the Sephora Pro Precision Smudge Brush and go into and light again and put it on in my inner corner. Okay, now I pretty much just have mascara and highlight left. I know people say not to put liquid over powder, but I do this all the time and it, it turns out fine. It always looks good. So I'm taking the um, Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight again, and I'm just going to take my finger and put it right here. Bam. It's blinding. Seriously. It's, like if you want a blinding highlight, look no further. Okay. Now I am taking um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. And I'm just going over the top of the custom enhancer drops. Okay, now I'm just going to put on my mascara. I'm taking the Maybelline uh, Falsies mascara in, I think it's black is black. That's what I always get, but I can't read that. It's too small. <laughs> I sound like my mom and dad. Anytime I try to get them to read something on my iPhone, well, my mom, she, like, clicks it, like, really hard and tries to zoom in. And then my dad's just like, I can't read that. You're going to have to read it to me. Every time. It never fails. So, I'm just going, I'm going to do a lot of coats of mascara, so this is really boring. And now for the lips, and I'm done with the makeup. I am taking um, Kylie Cosmetics Lip liner in Posey K and I am just lining my lips. Sometimes I overline them just a little bit to make, um, to make them look a little bigger. Now I am taking Smashbox, the Smashbox lipstick, I can't remember exactly what it's called, Be Legendary Lipstick in the shade Famous. And I actually, I got this when there was like six of these in a kit. So that's not the full size. But I do really like this color. It's just a really pretty nude color. Okay, my makeup is done. I'm going to go do my hair and I'll be right back. Okay guys, my hair is done. Um, 
so I don't think I have anything else for you. But um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if there's any kind of video you want me to do, just leave it in the comments below and I'll try to do that for you guys. I, my next, I think I already mentioned this, but my next video is a drugstore haul and then my next one I'll do a all drugstore or all drugstore slash affordable makeup tutorial for you guys. So thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.